You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yes, I concur. Good morning to you. And I trust you are doing just fine this morning. We are sharing truth today on the end times could be great times. And this is coming from 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, 5 to the end. You are warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adeneko. This channel is all packed together to inform and inspire you into a richer knowledge of the living God. And everything is being powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Inspiration, The Place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation, a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you've grown used to the acts of God and now you want to learn His ways, this is home. We are praying. Our God and Father, we give you thanks, Lord God. Here we have another Sunday, a day we gather together to fellowship together and with you and with one another. We trust God for your presence everywhere we gather today in Jesus' mighty name. For these few moments together, we ask God that you breathe upon it for the sake of your people. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 from 5. Do you not remember that when I was with you, <clears throat> excuse me, I told you these things, and now you know that what you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work only he who now restrains will do so until he's taken out of the way and when the lawless one will be revealed and then the lawless one will be revealed excuse me whom the lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming and the coming of the lawless one is according to the working of satan with all power uh, signs and lying wonders and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved <clears throat> and for this reason God will send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they may all be condemned who did not believe the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness suppose go back to it remember we began to talk about this uh, lawless one son of perdition um, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God. You remember we said all that before. And then he goes on to say, can't you remember I told you all, I told you this when I was with you? In other words, this matter has been a long-term matter um, of this Antichrist and things like that and the lawless one and all. And Paul was saying, but I told you this before you know, I left your place. I said that some of these things would happen. But uh, right now, he really cannot... Uh, uh, get himself manifested on, unless what is restraining him is taken out of the way and when that happens he will be revealed but at the end of the day the Lord will consume him with the breath of his mouth and destroy with badness of his coming you know and so many other things they said about him my my take on my, in this matter what is important to me on this whole matter is that the lawless now will be revealed. He will do all kinds of things. He says he would, you know, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, with all unrighteous deception, you know. And then look at two things. Number one, it's going to be only for a while, transient. It's going to, at the end of the day, will be destroyed by the power of the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, it says <clears throat> his work, all these things being described, will be among those who perish. It won't be among those of us who, who are the children of God and who are going to heaven and who have been saved from the wrath to come. It's not going to be, it's going to be among those who perish. And the reason they perish because they did not receive the love of the truth. Okay? So you see, the people that uh, this uh, guy will deal with, will deceive and deal with and do all sorts of things to, they are very, very specified. And not only that, when you look at this person being described here, it says, sir, he will come with all power, signs, lying wonders, unrighteous deception, you know, and all. You would, you, you would see that um, it's, it's not likely to be some of the people people are alluding to, um, as we know today, but let's not go into all that. May God help us in Jesus' mighty name. 
<clears throat> the important thing, excuse me, the important thing is for you to know this your God and know very well. To know the word of God and know the word of God very well. And that's what this channel is all about. That you should know the word. You should know the Lord. You should understand the, the principles of the new covenant. Which if you understand very well, you will know that some of the things being said today, they have no place whatsoever in a blood covenant, which the new covenant happens to be. Praise the Lord. But... Um, Let's just um, go on from verse 13. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and believe in the truth. It, this, this, this again is still <laughs> corroborating, what I, corroborating what I said before, that God has chosen us for salvation, you know, through the sanctification of the Spirit and the belief in the truth. Uh, with all of that, we know that we are people that are different from uh, the kind of people this world are going to harass and, and trouble and all. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you were taught, whether by word or by our epistle. So, as we stand fast in the word of God, as we stand fast in the understanding we have in the word of God, we are going to be just fine, rather than... Um, I don't, I don't want to call them theories and things being propounded by people and, uh, you know, fear, mongering and all those things. May God help us. It says, Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope by grace comfort your heart and establish you in every good work. So he rounds it off by, with, a, with, with a prayer. Having established that, look, what God has called us unto is beyond and above all these things that you know people are afraid of. And then he, he closes it by saying that, look, you just stay with the things we have taught you. Stick to the word of God. Stick to the truth of God, which you accepted in the first instance and which brought about salvation for you. <clears throat> and then the Lord, the Lord me, me will bless you. The Lord uh, who has given us everlasting consolation and good hope by his grace. I have good hope. If I have good hope, I'm not going to worry myself over what Satan is trying to do or his agent is trying to do. I'm not going to bother myself with that. Rather, my heart is comforted because I have I have uh, consolation, I have good hope, I have comfort, and God will establish me in every good word and work. God will establish me in every good word and work. Um, may God help us in Jesus' mighty name. Frankly, I don't know why human beings have a tendency to fear, rather to respect uh, fearful or fearsome, that's the right word, fearsome teachings and fearsome messages. We seem to respect those ones more than the ones that bring you peace and comfort and consolation and confidence and uh, positive things um that uh, you know um portend a beautiful future we seem to be skeptical of those ones and rather we we'll go and believe the things that uh, <laughs> that bring about fear or that portend fear at the end of the day why should that be that thing is not the spirit of god the spirit of god is positive the spirit of god is forward looking the spirit of god um is comforting brings you uh things that would make you know that because of god because of god victory is your portion because of god your work shall be and your word shall be established such a nice time this morning um, it's a sunday morning and i and i wish us all a wonderful week ahead by the grace of god thank you bless you